fissures of your facial features have paved the paths for memory maps in the pits of my palms. A sentient sea surrounds your iris like a silent sapphire serenade, attuned to time's decrescendo. Yet it looks so loud, like the volume spoken to me by photographs of my grandparents as young people still frame soliloquies. Were those hands the same soapstone, sandpaper? As gently they plucked a luger from a fallen German soldier, as pensively you pondered what gripped your enemies? Or those hands on the other side, caressing cello frets, playing the Nazis' music so that it might stop their war, biding time until escaping the grip of your enemies. And all those hands held on to the fingers they fitted with rings. It gives me those overflowing eyes she greeted me with, barely able to speak to me, as she reached out for my hand and said, you don't know how much this means to me. The first death this close, tattooed like a birthmark, that look locked into me. And on the other side, that swimming iris, compensating for its mahogany companion, scrutinizing my soul with a ceaseless smile. I tried to carry that through my third eye by his bedside, where I knelt apprehensively as he perked up like he'd just finished dinner to say simply, it's time to go. And all that day and night, I tried to write the perfect poem that could tell him how humbling it is to share his legacy, but words weren't working. And being late, I was left with gratitude and grief. But to be this old and see you age, I am blessed, I know, to hold that gaze. You have lost your sight, yet your eyes radiate desert rays, savoring that look of oasis salvation, beaming to me the feeling of being alive. And though two of you have died, to see you still a couple striding alongside me as we walk together to the bus stop. Again, words aren't coming. Too soon, you will be with those on the other side. I wish we could take one last mud walk along our cabin shore, make heaven out of shells and reserve your spot. I wanted to say so much, but the bus was stopping. Words still stalling, eyes steady smiling, fingertips tracing the braille of embrace brushing up against eternity bound by the spell of your infinite grace.